guys in today's episode of the box truck build series this is going to be all about the backup camera I'm going to install so I had several choices I could put a traditional wired backup camera like I had on the uh, previous truck or I could go with a wireless one and I did a lot of research on different cameras and how people had uh, troubles with this one or that one and um, what I decided on was the AutoVox. This is the Solar 4 uh, wireless backup camera kit. And it is solar powered. So you can have up to two cameras on this that will display either individually or both at the same time on the monitor. I just have one camera uh, for right now and I am going to show you guys how to set that up. I've never done this before. I haven't even opened the box. So we'll do it together and um, it should be pretty easy. So let's get started. All right, so there's uh, two main box or two boxes. This is the main one. This box happens to be just the uh, magnetic mount. All right, so basically this is the mount that will attach to the camera itself. And what I've seen online, this is extremely strong. So we've got that. And then we'll open the main box here. All right. Here's what we got. This would be, I'm guessing, the monitor. Now this, you have to plug into like your cigarette lighter or power source. It's super light, so it goes like that. And this is the uh, solar panel. And it has a uh, sticky adhesive. This is the dash portion. It's a uh, flexible and it's got power wire got a U it looks like a USB plug here's the uh, cigarette lighter Screws. And of course, the camera. All right, so the way this works, here's the back of the camera. Here's the uh, magnetic mount. It just clips on just like that. And then you've got a screw you can put down in there to keep somebody from taking off with it. All right here's the USB on the bottom. So we just plug this in. So I'm going to see if this will charge, I'm going to go stick this in the sun and uh, see if it will charge and I'll be right back. Alright so literally, I, I didn't even have to charge it. So the camera uh, right here I've got it hooked, I've got the little antenna screwed on this side. Uh, there's two antennas, one for the camera itself and one for the monitor. They're both the exact same, I just have this one you can... Uh, got detents you can put it out straight or up so um, you can see the state of battery charge uh, right there it's already fully charged um, I just plugged this in so 
the camera is really let me uh it's very clear yeah, it's very clear so uh i'll show you guys some of the menu settings in here but let me uh i'm just gonna go grab a ladder i mean i didn't even need to pair this thing i'm gonna go grab a uh a ladder and we're gonna be putting it on the very back it used to have a backup camera right there um, when it was the previous owner so I'm just gonna put it right there and then I'll mount the solar panel on top so uh, let me get a ladder and I'll be right back all right so I just took some Windex and cleaned the mating surface of where I'm gonna stick this Alright, so uh, the old backup camera was right here. I'm going to just mount it right here. I am going to take some silicone caulk and put these, caulk these holes like that. And I'll never have to recharge that again. So let's just go inside the truck. These backup lines can be uh, taken off. You go to mode and then so go to guideline hit OK and if you want to turn the guidelines off you can do that so now they're off um, hit the mode button again guidelines OK and turn it on OK um, I probably will turn them off uh, there's no reason to have the guidelines on there so this is a very, very simple interface. So yeah, that's uh, it's pretty darn good. So what I would like to do is I would like to put this on the floor. This thing is so light. I would like to put this here. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to mount it. I really don't want it on the dash at all possible uh, I'm gonna come up with something that I can stick in this cup. so basically this just this is the flexible piece it's got double face tape you just stick it like that or yeah I don't know if it goes that way and then there's a knob right here that they give you This will, I think it's got some swivelage to it. So I may try to see if there's a way I could stick it right here. That, that would be the best, I think. I may just take half of this off and see if it'll stick. Now that works good. So I just peeled back some of this sticky um, adhesive on this flexible pad. And I just stuck it to this little cubby shelf. And I coiled this up. And that'll just sit right in there like that so it won't look like it's... So that's a pretty clean install. Um, so then... Turn it on. All right, there we go. Now let me go uh, walk back behind there and see what it what it looks like. So make sure when you're installing the solar panel that it's um the low side down so when the wind comes it'll uh go over it like a ramp and uh it won't try to lift this off and i also took the took some uh, hvac metal tape you can just use duct tape if you have it 
and just did the wire like this just so it won't flop around but um yeah i think i'm going to angle it down just a hair more so i'll have to play with the spacing a little bit or the uh the angle of it all right so let's uh i'm just going to turn the key on simulating the start that's what we get it just comes on automatically it's just that easy i think this is going to work out a lot better sitting here than being up on the dash my other backup camera was in this cubby space so i can probably uh do the antenna like that or something anyway i think that'll be fine all right guys well i, I hope that's helpful you don't have to use this on a box truck you can use it on a trailer if you got an enclosed trailer you can use it on the top of your pickup truck uh, you could put it on a car if you wanted you know it's wireless so it doesn't matter you could definitely put it on the back of a dump trailer anything you wanted to put back of a semi trailer anything you you need to see what's behind you do it and you know it's got a nice it's got a good picture it's got a nice screen it's also got infrared illumination so at night when there's no light at all it'll turn the infrared on and um yeah so turn the key it goes off automatically that's a wise purchase i believe we don't need to be hitting stuff with the truck all right well if that's uh that's it so stay tuned i'm sorry this video was a little disjointed i've never used one of these before so i kind of like to do it this way so it's not so scripted and dry because you know you may make the same mistakes or errors i made so anyway thank you very much for watching and uh i'll have more videos i've got another one coming out about the uh wall accessories and we're going to do some other maintenance things that um if you have one of these trucks you may be interested in with that being said i will talk to you guys on the next video